Hey everyone. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on this symbiosis review. Uh, first and foremost, remember, right, mutualism is when both of the species is benefiting. Um, commensalism is where one benefits and the other one is neither uh, benefited or harmed. It's just unaffected. Uh, parasitism is that one benefits and the other species is harmed. Uh, so let's go. So two, topula two populations with limited resources experience um, your answer should be C competition because if they don't have enough for each other right um, that means they're going to be competing for whatever it is that uh, there is not enough of two people can swallow the eggs of tapeworms in unclean water or food tapeworms can live inside the digestive system of humans um, there they grow and feed off the food the person eats as a result the person does not receive proper nourishment and becomes ill so if the tapeworm is being able to like live in this human eating all the human's food and then the human becomes ill and sick this is definitely an example of parasitism right because one is being benefited which is a tapeworm and the other the human is being harmed three a plant called the bullhorn acai has swollen thorns with hollow spaces inside a certain species of ants lays eggs inside these thorns the ants feed from the nectar of the acai acai without harming it that's really key so without harming it the ants protect the acai from insects that want to eat its leaves or bark what type of relationship exists between the plants and the ants well the ants are able to live there right and lay their eggs and the acai are able to get help because the ants are protecting them from other insects so that would definitely be an example of mutualism because both of them are getting what they need Four, lichen consists of fungus and algae. The fungus uh, provides a structure on which the algae can grow. The algae produces sugar that the fungus can use. This is, again, definitely an example of mutualism because both of the species right, are getting uh, something that benefits them. Five, Spanish moss grows on the branches of oak trees. The moss benefits from being up high and the tree is neither helped nor harmed. That is really, really important. The tree is neither helped nor harmed. That is definitely commensalism, right? Because the tree, again, is unaffected and the uh, moss is being benefited. When you're done, go to press that next button. Make sure you have all these answers uh, correct.